Hello everyone, the new year is upon us. 2023 was a bit of a miss for me, quite a bit of a hope and plenty of misses over the year. Here's to 2024 being a better year. These are my trading goals for the year 2024. On my first goal, I would like to improve the progress of my journey to $1 million funded account. Instead of a goal of getting $1 million in funding dollar amount and 100 k in payouts, I will probably increase my target to maybe 250 But this is just a personal goal. It won't be publicly stated. I feel that once I got the ball rolling and the funding dollar increases, the amount of payouts will just increase exponentially. So far, the progress has been quite slow. I got funded in the beginning of December. Now I can say that I am a six-figure funded trader. I list down each and uh, each of the trades that I took in December, and also provided a live showcase of the trades as well. What strikes me is that I actually took very few trades in December. And this might be something I need to look into. My strategy is certainly um, slow paced and it's aimed for higher risk, uh, higher reward to risk ratio. Even so, although I have a string of losses um, in the beginning, all it takes is just like one win and I'm back to break even and slightly above. In December, I had a 3.8 risk. Uh, reward to risk outcome for the month and I am looking to continue to log and journal my trade results and also provide video proof for the trades that I took um, in the near future. As for the progress, I restarted this um, journey to 1 million uh, with the purchase of account evaluation number 1 at the end of October. So far, I have spent about $527.50 in terms of fees and activation fees and money fees. Uh, this account for the money fee for uh, account number one, for month one, month two, and the activation fee for account two uh, is for month one and activation fee. And Currently, for account number three, it's also for month one and month two monthly fee. The reason why I'm not chasing for any more accounts at this stage is because I would actually like to have my payouts to pay for further accounts. And so far, I haven't reached the stage for payouts yet. It's actually killing me a bit inside because I want to make use of the Vilnox promotion that's ending tomorrow on the 2nd January for 75% off, but yeah, I am holding back. My initial thought was that I wouldn't spend more than $500 before getting the first payout, and I could achieve my first payout in December and use it to fund further accounts. But it seems that my progress is not as fast as I would hope. In fact, I found that I'm actually quite a slow trader with my strategy. However, I have been perfecting this strategy for the last two years and through back testing and forward testing, I found them to be profitable. So I am planning to continue with my strategy moving forward. My ideal scenario would that would that be by now I would have maybe um had payouts in December. And with that, I had three funded accounts um, from Bullenox and working on the fourth account in January. So I am looking forward to build up to 11 accounts with Bullenox. And at the same time, I am starting on the next intended problem, which is Take Profit Trader account in January because it's offering an instant withdrawal. Before I went um, for the big guns, so that I can save the money and save like all the accumulated payouts money for 20 uh, PA accounts from Apex. And when there's like 80% or 90% discounts for them. 
that was from my previous planning. But I found that it was a bit difficult to grow the number of accounts in Bullinox right now. Because although they do allow up to 11 multiple trading accounts at once, after the third account, they have to activate it one by one. So in terms of getting a lot of multiple accounts at once, it's definitely only Apex that is convenient enough for this. Anyway, I will need payouts from Bullinox from Blue Knox or Take Profit first before I even think about challenging the 20 accounts from Apex. And this is my goal number one and my current progress on it. My second goal will be to grow this YouTube channel. I saw that ICT has his 1 million subscriber count yesterday and was like, why not me? Why not this channel? Actually, this YouTube channel is my first foray into uh, this. I started out not knowing anything about video editing and I still don't really know any much about it. I'm also a bit unsure on how I should position this channel of mine, like what type of content should I focus on. I would actually like to see this channel grow to 100k subscribers because I really want the YouTube play button. I will put um, a lot of trading related education videos over here and also some explanations on them. There are actually a lot of trading styles out there and methodology. It's just a matter of adopting one to your needs. And most importantly, you have to backtest whether it's profitable. Don't just take someone's word that is a profitable strategy. You don't really know how you will act under life trading conditions. However, all of this is just something I will put on the back burner for now. My goal number three is also related to the YouTube channel. Um, I want to create a course or a recording of all the uh, trading methods that I have picked up over the years. Of course, I will put the video of lessons on YouTube. And the monetized course will just be an extension with maybe extra or more details explanations and more examples. I always do think that the current amount of information you can find online for free is already enough for you to be profitable. And for any paid stuff, you are actually just paying for the convenience. And because I have been trading for over 10 years, I do have pursued a lot of different strategies in the past. Some are profitable, some are not. It just depends. The best strategies are those that suit your personality. So, I most I would like to stick to create a course and sell that as a side business. But of course, this will happen after I am able to show a series of results. Because so far from what I see in terms of like let's say in Twitter on YouTube. There are a lot of gurus out there who say that they are profitable, but they never really show their results. They don't even show their journals or any verifiable trading results. Like when I scroll to YouTube, like those thumbnails, they only said that they made like how many thousands of dollars off these trades. But um, they are saying they're only showing their wins, but not really their losses. So what I'm trying to do now is that I'm trying to prove that I have a list of trading successes, like all the list of trading success and losses and even break even. I'm trying to show that I am profitable from month to month. And because of a lot of the trading, I mean like so-called experts out there, they are just selling dreams and hopes and rehashing ideas that actually I'm not sure whether they have tested it or not before, or whether they are using it as their own personal strategy. But that will not uh, be in the near future because it will take time for me to build some credibility in terms of trades and journaling that I took. Because I mean, just saying something for YouTube on YouTube is easy, but trying to come up with a proof for it is rather difficult. I can say that now I am a six figure trader because reality wise, I do have 100K in funding account so far. But even so, I haven't even reached the payoff stage yet. Maybe for a YouTube clickback, I can label myself as a six-figure trader now. Actually, I just don't want to be a six 
a snake oil salesman over here. As for goal number four, I will keep it a secret for now. But it is actually related to the payouts that I might be getting from the prop firms and how I am planning to make use of it to build a generational wealth. So those are my little goals for 2024. What about yours? Here's to a better 2024. Goodbye and see you next time. Ciao.